In this video, we'll be talking about exactly what a MOBA is, the goal of a Dota 2 game, and as well as some basic mechanics that you need to know. So what is a MOBA? MOBA stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena, where each player controls a single character in a team who competes against another team of players. The game only ends once one team has lost their Ancient, hence the title Defense of the Ancients. At the beginning of every game, each player selects a hero from a pool of over 100 heroes to choose from. Each hero has a unique set of skills that leaves them with distinct strengths and weaknesses. Some heroes focus on dealing damage. Some specialize in tanking the damage. Others offer stuns and slows in order to control the enemy heroes. These are only some examples of what each hero can offer to any team composition. One of the most difficult parts of Dota is gaining knowledge and understanding of exactly how to abuse these hero strengths while also minimizing the impact of their weaknesses. Every game of Dota is played on the same map. The Radiant team occupies the bottom diagonal half of the map, while the Dire team occupies the top diagonal half. Each team's Ancient is located inside the heart of each team's base. The map is then segmented into three lanes, top, middle, and bottom. Each lane consists of three towers for each team, and these towers must be destroyed in order from the outermost tower to the innermost tower. The map also contains the river, which divides the two bases, as well as the jungle. Both of these things contain runes, which can be either bounty runes at these four locations, which grant you gold when picked up, or they can be power-up runes that offer the player that picks them up a unique bonus based on which rune it is. These runes spawn every two minutes on the dot, two, four, six, etc. Both the jungle and the river present even more objectives around the map for each team in order to gain gold, experience, and other advantages. At the beginning of every game, and every 30 seconds afterward, a wave of creeps will spawn in each lane for each team. These creeps cannot be controlled by the players and will automatically walk down each lane. They will meet each other between the first two towers for each team and start attacking each other and killing each other. And this brings us to the beginning of the laning phase. In the laning phase, three separate battles occur where teams are fighting to gain experience and gold which is provided to them by the creeps. When heroes are nearby enemy creeps that die, they will evenly split the experience gained from the creep. Thus, one hero will gain twice as much experience if there's only one hero as compared to when there are two. However, in order to gain gold from the creeps, you have to deliver the killing blow, which is otherwise known as last hitting, and can only be received by one hero. This is where the skill of laning stage comes in. Players have to not only fight each other, but also the creeps in lane, in order to try to get the last hit on each individual creep. Also, when one of your own creeps is below half health, you can attack your own creep, and if you get the last hit on the creep, you not only deny the gold that they would have received for the last hit, but they also receive even less experience. Experience is gained when a player is near an enemy creep that dies, an enemy hero that dies, or when a neutral creep dies. Neutral creeps are found in the jungle, as shown by these locations on the map, and can be killed by either team. If these creeps are killed, each individual location will respawn on the minute mark every minute. This experience, gained from all of these things, is used in order to level up your skills, which become stronger as you level them up. Gold is gained passively over time. It is also gained by last hitting an enemy creep, last hitting a neutral creep, destroying an enemy tower, or killing an enemy hero. Gold is used in order to purchase items which make your hero stronger. The last objective on the map is called Roshan. He is an ancient beast who rests in his cave and rewards the team who kills him with gold and experience, as well as a second life on one of your heroes for the next five minutes. Once you kill Roshan, he will respawn randomly in the next eight to 11 minutes and each following kill on Roshan provides even more rewards. The entire game of Dota 2 is about using efficiency and strategy to gain more gold and experience than the enemy team, utilizing all of the aforementioned objectives in order to do so. 
We'll be going into detail about each one of these objectives individually later in this course.